In this example, we are going to find the derivative of function in part A, where y equals the quantity 8x squared plus 3x to the power negative fifth, and in part B, h of x equals 6 divided by the cube root of x squared plus 9. Let's get started with part A. In part A, we see this as the function, and we name it as a function g, raised to the power r. So we're going to make a list on the side where gx is 8x to the second plus 3x, and r as power is negative 5. To find the derivative using the general power rule, we have the formula y prime equals r times the function g raised to the power r minus 1 and multiply by the g prime. In our case, the r is negative 5. The gx is 8x squared plus 3x and then raised to the power r minus 1, which is negative 5 minus 1, multiplied by g prime, which we don't have it yet. So on the side note here, since gx is 8x squared plus 3x, so the g prime is 8 times 2x plus 3, or 16x plus 3. So we bring it into the problem. So multiply by 6x plus 3. And simplify one more time, we have negative 5 multiplied by the quantity 8x squared plus 3x to the power negative 6 multiplied by the quantity 6x plus 3 as the derivative of the y for part a. And then for the second part, the h of x equals 6 divided by the cube root of x squared plus 9. In this case, we are going to rewrite the quotient into the form of 6 divided by the quantity x squared plus 9 to the power 1 third. And then write it as the coefficient 6 multiplied by x squared plus 9 to the power negative 1 third as the power form. In this case, we have the constant multiple 6 times the function g. I'm going to name this as the function g. g of x is x squared plus 9, where the power r is negative 1 over 3. We will use the constant multiple rule together with the general power rule. So the h prime of x equals the c, which is a 6, as a constant multiple, multiplied by the derivative of gx to the power r, that is r times the function g raised to the power r minus 1 and then multiply by the g prime. So this portion is from the general power rule. Next, we're going to bring the terms over. Since we're going to need the g prime, so continue on the side notes here. Since gx is x squared plus 9, so the g prime of the x is 2x. Then the h prime of the x equals 6 times the r is negative 1 over 3. The whole quantity of the g, which is x squared plus 9, to the power r minus 1, or negative 1 third minus 1, times the g prime, which is 2x. Simplify one more time. The numbers 6 times negative 1 third times 2 to be negative uh, 4. And then multiply by x and then multiply by the quantity of x squared plus 9 to the power negative 4 over 3 as a derivative of this part.